a message to the Prime Minister, contrary to what has been advised, oppressing a people with financial or physical burdens, has never in the history of man, been an effective way to sustain a country, while the human body might become weaker the human spirit, becomes more resilient as our survival instincts are ignited, this will spark a flame of rebellion that will open the eyes, of all to their own abilities to survive without the government, I implore you do not add any more burden to the people, because they thinking of firing you, that's no joke, ask Perry. For the rich, you cannot survive on your own in this world. No matter how popular or how much money you have, you are bound by the same natural law as the poor. In this area we are all equal. In short all of us can die. What happens after this no one can truly say. One thing is certain. The people whose riches only help themselves always leave them feeling unfulfilled and lost. Be a voice or an instrument of change. Let the world remember and honor your name. Many years after you leave this earth. Speak up against injustice as you cannot be oppressed by anyone. To the poor, God has chosen you above everyone. Because your faith is strongest in him. You have no money of your own to stand on in times of great need. There has never been a time on this earth where the poor and afflicted has been neglected by God himself. Let me assure you, as your cries reach God, a plan to set you free from that oppression is already in motion on your behalf. Never stop believing in the God of Abraham. Isaac, and Jacob, he will free you indeed. For the people, as it has always been the case forever, an erasive physical attack against leadership, will not break the whip of the oppressors. History has proven that this action will always yield unsatisfactory results. What has always broken the chains of oppression, is when a people unite and withdraw all fire resources from those whose voice will not be ignored, thus awakening the silent voice of the middle class and the rich. Mr. Roberts is the first to feel this impact, more will come.